All new at 10, we are learning more about Beaumont City Manager Kenneth Williams' priorities for the new city budget. From staffing the real-time crime center to improving infrastructure, he says it's all about making the city safer and improving quality of life. And Williams says he can do it all without raising taxes. Good evening, Southeast Texas. I'm Jordan Williams. Brenda has the night off. You know, the budget is only a proposal at this point, but we're looking into what it would cost you. 12 News reporter Ebony Coleman is here tonight to break down the priorities being considered. City Manager Kenneth Williams says he can improve the quality of life all while lowering the tax rate, but other rates would go up. We'll explain that in just a minute. Now we were there just weeks ago when the Beaumont Police Department's real-time crime center officially went online. The police department says it's already helped them solve crimes in minutes, not days or weeks. Right now it's being staffed primarily by police. The city budget would include funding for several civilian positions who would act as real-time crime center analysts. And when it comes to fighting crime, cameras are a big part of the equation. Earlier this month, we saw the damage vandals caused at Charlton Pollard Park. With no cameras there, officials have struggled to find the people responsible. Now, the new budget would include $120,000 to add cameras at eight more city parks. That list includes Babes of Harris, Magnolia, Sprott, Charlton Pollard, and Dishman. City leaders say five parks already have cameras. Some even have license plate readers. Ward 3 Councilman Odwin Samuels has previously told 12 News this is a no-brainer. That was devastating. That was terrible what happened at Charlton Pollard Park. We spent over $66,000 for cameras from the time that that happened. We all understood that we had to do more. The proposed budget would lower the tax rate for the fifth consecutive year, but residents would see a 4% increase for water and an 8% increase for sewer service. The plan is to use that additional revenue to pay for infrastructure improvements. Now you can weigh in on the proposed budget and talk about your priorities at an upcoming city council meeting on September the 17th. In studio, Ebony Coleman, 12 News.